Hungry Sub. Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be doing the third challenge battle of the Sakura Strike Force event, Intermediate Exam Age Defense. So, for a quick explanation of this fight, the goal of it is to put Pelu and Sonic into an enfeebled state. The enfeebled state is when they're below 5% hit points. So, given their current hit point values, I'll have the actual required hit point stat in the video description. Uh, but it's 5% of this and 5% of this. It's somewhere around a bit under 22,000 for Pelu and a bit under, I think like 18,000 for Sonya, okay? So that's the goal. Now, if you only knock one of them into an enfeebled state and the other is not, the following turn, they heal to full hit points. <laughs> so you can't enfeeble them until they're both going to get enfeebled on the same turn. Right? Um, Pelu will target the closest melee target, while Sonya will target the closest range character. Okay? So you can plan for that accordingly. Uh, Sonya will not choose to target physical attackers. And in addition to this, what they have is after the third turn, when no units are in attack range, they deal two times defense ignoring AoE damage to all enemies. So you always have to leave at least one character, if not two, in the range. Uh, one easy way of doing that is, for example, with summons. If there's always a summon in range and your other character gets attacked, for example, like Leanna, let's say, then as long as your character can take the hit, there will always be a character in range and so on. So, Or you can have the summon die and have your other character in range so that the AoE effect will not trigger. And finally, I mean, Sonya has this effect where after attacking, deals 0.5 times magic damage to all enemies within a 4 block radius. You know, whatever. While uh, Sonya has a line attack. So it deals 0 0.2 times, it does 2 times AoE damage with the line attack. So you don't want to put 2 characters in the line from Pelu. The proper clear method is in my vi I'll have a link to the original clear in the video description, which relied on using a Bow Luna. I don't have a Bow Luna right now, so I'm actually just going to use the party you see. Okay. So I'm actually. Oh, one last thing. The enemies are immune to all debuff effects except for the, from the aid part. So bringing something like Magic Defense Intimidate is totally useless. You're better off bringing another attack skill. Okay? So I'm going to have Lana with three attack skills. Let's have, let's say, or even just, I don't know. You could also do, let's say, two attack skills in the summon. Right? This way I can have three different summons, like Bozo summon, Lana summon, as well as Liana summon. And then I have just ranged damage dealers with Sophia and Liana for healing. Okay. And Ledin is here with Righteous Duel, Vindication, and so on. So let's talk about the aid effects. Okay. You actually don't even need to rely on them now, but the first aid effect is that it will reduce enemies attack by 50% for two turns when the enemy attacks, and there's a one turn cooldown trigger. The second effect is that when an enemy within three blocks attacks a friendly unit, perform physical aid, causing the enemy to take 50% increased damage for two turns. And there's a one turn cooldown trigger. And the third effect is when an enemy within three blocks attacks a friendly unit, perform spell aid, disabling the enemy's passive skills for two turns. And it has a one turn cooldown trigger. So, yeah, I mean, let's get started at this point. Not much else needs to be said, is there? Let's begin. Turn on Ninja Zone. So why don't I just start with, I guess, Light of Genesis. <laughs> just grabbing these effects. So he grabs, she grabs one. Let's have her step on the second one. And I can act against her, I suppose, to grab the third. So there we go. I am, might as well have Lenin just fashion buff for now. And Bozo uh -huh. is just gonna drop the 
Ich sammeln. Dann place it here. Let's have Lena also drop a summon. Place it here. And I will just maybe mass heal this group here. So I'm just gonna use summons to occupy the enemy while taking out the other one. That's more or less what I'm doing. Okay. So, funny enough, the enemies can be righteous duels, even though they have immunity to all to displacement effects and so on. This righteous duel is not considered a displacement effect. So I can just pull them to me. Get over here! Huh? Now, I, with Pelu, I need to just avoid the line attack. So as long as I have uh -huh. characters attack like this and so on, they're fine. And that's what I'm gonna do. Lana attack. And... This effect does not trigger until turn 3. So it's currently turn 2, so I can just have to summon swing. And summon more weight as well. Let's have Light of Genesis. Watch out her attack. I'm going to have Liana act against someone to attack again. Oh no, I already used act again. So she's just gonna drop a summon. Let's place it there. And finally, Sophia is going to rewind. So, aid buffs getting triggered. Hello attacks. And now, let's continue to crush him. Yes. So why don't I start with a release strike here, like so. And next... If I... I'm gonna try something fun, okay? Um, let's see. Well, you know what, let's just range attack. Right, forget it. So, we weaken Pelu. And now these summons have to move in. So, they're just gonna walk in. Uh, Dark Reaper. Move in. Light of Genesis. Attack. Liana can act again, a character. So let's make it Light of Genesis. And that summons turn. And I'll have Light of Genesis launch yet another strike. And then finally. Sophia can just mass heal. So Bozol is gonna attack and kill off the Necromancer. Interesting, I didn't expect the AoE to kill off the other Necromancer. Annoying, but fair enough. Alright, so Pelu is already down to 64k hit points. Which means he's already nearly dead. I mean, I may as well register him, duel him closer. And I think that's pretty much how much I want to leave him at, at this point. So, target change, in other words. Why don't I just, for example, place the summon here in range? And I'm going to drop new summons. Kill him. 
Huh? Bozol is going to shift over and drop a new summon. I will get attacked. Lena is going to drop a summon outside because I just found out the AoE kills it off. Let's move. And I'm actually going to just, you know what, teleport because I don't want to kill Pelu right now. So I'm just going to teleport my lead in back tile so that I don't do any damage to him. And I act the triggered an act again effect with that. So I can actually choose to attack Sun. So yeah. Necromancer kill. AoE effect. Pelu attack. And now they're both stunned. And during the stun turn, they swap positions after one turn. So actually gives me a bit of time. To switch the characters uh, I'm attacking. Mm? <laughs> Why don't I just mass heal for now? Group here. And have everyone who can reach get her in If I can reach, might as well take advantage. And turn. Continue to attack F. Four range, I suppose. And yes. I'll have let in fashion buff. And they will swap positions. Yes. Okay. So let's now start dealing with Sunny. The attack. Mm -hmm. Too far out, so she'll just start moving back. Let's place Hi. characters uh -huh. in range. Hi. Uh -huh. And have. Actually. Let me see. Lolly just can actually act again if I teleport someone. But you know what? That's not. Let's just range attack for now. Start weakening and taking down the opponent that I need. So leave Archer here. Bozo start. Faction buffing. Let's have Light of Genesis, range attack. And finally, kill her up. Let him take the hits. Necromancer gets killed. Yes. And we're good to go. Hmm? Huh? I actually don't have a summon to put into range right now. So maybe I'm just going to have the Sky Archer in range. And have Liana move over. So that she'll be in range as well. And over here, continue the assault. Elemental destruction. Dark Reaper. Immediately attack. I think I'll have to mass seal now. And have Light of Genesis. Free strike. Triggering three debuffs. Summon 
killed. They're swapping positions once more. So I can drop the summon once again. Have an end turn here. And have the others start attacking. Swap once again. Yes, and this time around, I still don't want to kill Pelu. Right? I need to finish up Sonya. So, why don't I do this? Okay, I'm going to have that infection buff to start. I'm going to act again my letter and have him let's just get this character out of the way and I'm gonna have him righteous duel proposal to me so that he's really really close that way I can have everyone jump onto Proposal. I and I can rewind this group here. So now, as long as I leave one character in range of Pelu, right, he won't AOE me. So everyone else is just gonna run over and attack. One K hit points. Nineteen K. Let's leave them be. Because I don't want him to go into stun state yet. All right. Pelu kills one, and now I'm just going to finish them both off. So, Dark Reaper. Uh, if Liana just heals up. Young Light of Genesis can finish off Pelu into the stun state. And then I have two attacks to knock Sonya into a stun state. I'm done. And there we have it. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.